Hi friends, welcome to tutorjoes.com. In our PHP, we are going to use the inbuilt functions in the array. So, we are going to talk about the array slice. Array slice is going to be an array function. Now, you have a set of values in the array function. We are going to use the array slice as a particular partition. We are going to use the array slice as a function. So, how do we use the array slice? First, in the PHP tag, we are going to use the variable. We are going to use the variable name. That is the array function values. We will use a string value to use quotation. So, we will use the values. I will use a name here. Now, we will use the name here. Now, we will use the semicolon. And next one, in another variable declare pani, na slice apni another variable declare pani kren. Ande variable kulla, in the inbuilt function nama call pani kla. Array underscore slice. Array slice apni ingre function kulla, ina kena panano na, nama kadala tiga argument irk. Ada tiga argument la first one, in the variable erikra values the fetch panano apni na. Ipo in the name apni ingre variable erikra values na fetch panano, so adu kudu tete. And next argument, in the index lende slice ingre start panano. Ipo in the zero one two three. Apni ingre dada in the values oda index. So ingre naya panra ingre lende start panra, so ingre one apni ingre kudu tukre. And third argument, etna values namo slice panano. One le start agi ingre kudu three variko erikra values elamai slice panano apni ingre kudu tarra. And semicolon print r use panni. Now, we will print the slice variable in this case. We will use the array slice function to use the array slice. So, we will print the slice variable in the slice. Now, we will refresh the browser. We will start with the second value. In the second value, there are three values. The name variable is the values. And the one value is the first value. In the first value, there are three values. So, we have SAM, TAM, TINA. We have three values printed. That is the index change. Why are we doing this? We have to add a set of values to a partition. We have to slice it. What we have to do is we have to start where we are. That is the initial value. So, we have to start at zero index. So, in the large number of array values, we have to separate a partition from a set of values. So, we can use the array slice to this option. So, we can use the negative value here. How are we? I will come to the end. Now, I will use the minus 2. Minus 2. Minus 2 is here. I will calculate here. 1 and 2. I will print the two values. So, now I will save it. I will refresh the browser. So, what I did is I gave two values. Minus two, I gave two values. Tom, Tina, and the two values. If you have two values, I will print it. So, Tom and Tina, and the two values. So, we have values in the negative. So, we have values in the negative. If you use pass array slice, we can use values to slice the calculation. So, we can use a set of array values. We can use a partition to separate the partition. We can use the array slice in the inbuilt function. So, let's talk about the array slice in this video. In the remaining videos, let's talk about the remaining inbuilt functions. If you like this video, please like this video. If you want to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you friends.